Hello everyone, welcome to round four of this chess.com five minute blitz Swiss tournament. Swiss meaning that you basically play seven games and it's not like an arena where you just play as many games as you can in the time allotted. It's just seven rounds. If you haven't seen the previous episodes of this tournament, then there is a playlist linked below with those videos. So you should check that out if you haven't seen them yet. I'm playing this weird gambit line against the Karo Khan. My opponent doesn't accept it. So realistically, you have to give up on the gambit and push the pawn. But you get quite an interesting position, I think. Queen g4 and knight to f3 is the typical setup. And normally, this happens when you play against the French defense. You're playing against the Karo, but it's actually transposed fairly nicely because this, yeah, like I was saying, this pawn on c6 is useless. It needs to come to c5. So we basically have the same position, except we're a move ahead. Ah, yeah, so my opponent has missed that. My opponent has missed that. Knight to a3 is actually quite an aggressive move because you kind of have to respond with a6 so that the knight can't come to b5 and then d6. Because if the knight gets to d6, like, you're done. Uh, so my opponent retreats his bishop, which means he's kind of wasted a move. If I get kicked out, it's really not the end of the world. I'm not too fast. So I think maybe we just castle. Or do we go knight to g5? Because I think maybe I'm threatening here, here, here. Because if something blocks, then knight d6 is unstoppable. If queen e7, knight d6, king d8, knight f7, king e8. Although I could just take that pawn. Let's do it. Let's try and bait out the move h6. If um, a6, I guess we can still do it anyway. Yeah, I think this actually works. I think it works. Basically trying to play on the fact that to block the check after queen to e6, you have to relinquish control of the d6 square, meaning that I get to play knight to d6. And after f e6, queen e6, you can't go bishop to e6. Sorry, to e7, because of knight d6, king f8, and queen to f7 checkmate, because the bishop can't take as it's pinned to the king. Long explanation, but that's the gist of it. And I can't find a completely winning line after queen to e7, but I decided to go ahead with it anyway, which is what my opponent plays. Um, we could go knight c7 here. Like here, here, here. Oh no, we can win this rook, but then my knight maybe gets trapped. Hmm. Knight d6, king d8. I could just take on d6. This is still threatened. And moves like e6 are potentially deadly. So. Wait, no, sorry, I need to give this check first. Apologies. I could give the check here. But I don't see how he really stops it. So I'm going to take. I'm going to take. This knight can't really move that easily because of discoveries. He could go knight to b6. But then I would have um, some double checks. This move I actually missed, in fairness. Um... I don't think it should be a problem, though. Let's see. Check here. Eh, don't really know what I'm doing there. We could just go queen to e4, though. To stop this. We could go queen to c4, but then moves like d5 are annoying. Although then we can go queen e4 with an attack on the rook. And also, we're still supporting knight to f7 check if we go to c4. Whereas on e4, we don't support that. 
but after b5 queen e4 we're attacking the rook so i have to remove like rook two yeah he does it we still defend c2 but the rook is under attack maybe rook a7 is better than rook two b8 so that it can defend the second rank or or my opponent's second rank the seventh rank from the white perspective but then i can just go a3 and that knight looks very trapped to me don't know where that's that knight's going bruv now i i do have to be a little bit careful because um if this bishop basically this pawn is pinned to the queen luckily only this queen is attacking the knight so that's not possible yet if this key, if this queen was on a square like e6 then bishop takes e6 would be a problem that's a nice move but i don't think it works um no it doesn't i can just take you and then we take back and now we're up a piece we've won our piece back we still have the pawns that we won so we are up three pawns lovely and we just have a very active position. Also, pawn to f7 traps the rook. And, okay, not going to lie, I actually missed that. Um, actually missed that the queen stopped defending that. Maybe king here was better. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, not going to lie, I completely missed that line. Um, so fair play to my opponent. We're still up two pawns, but it's just hard to hold on to them. It's hard to hold on to them. Let's... Oh, e freeze an issue. Maybe I have to give my bishop up. I don't want to, but... I'm also low on time. I think I have to. trying to play g5 to secure my pawn oh i think this might be an issue oh no I've, I've got moves like d3 that's fine that's absolutely fine i don't know what this bishop h6 move was though that's just helped me um let's go d3 Again, that's absolutely fine. I feel like he's just helping me to lock my pawns in place. Also, after takes, I'm probably going to take with the pawn. That makes more sense to me. Let's go king d2 to connect the rooks. Let's take. I need to stop this. Okay. Now I can bring my knight in. Oh my god, I've got no time left. I've got no time left. I forgot that I had no increment. He's going to take with the rook, isn't he? He's going to take with the rook. Oh no, he's not. I have to pre-move this. Ah! Damn it! Why am I losing games? Because of time. Every time. I can't do this no increment thing. Honestly. I had such a winning position. I was so happy with that sacrifice as well. That, um... I think that was actually the best way forward, knight g5. And we're just baiting either the move h6 or a6. Oh, that's so frustrating. Because that was so good. We have this whole, this whole ordeal going on. We win three pawns. We find this very nice maneuver. My opponent makes a bit of a mistake. We lose a little bit. 
But here, like, I spent 30 seconds. I, I, I have to just be taking immediately without thinking too much. I can't afford to spend that long. And I mean, we did very well in converting this endgame. Like, pushing the pawn forward was absolutely the right way to go about this. But, yeah, I just, obviously, with 0 0.5 seconds, there's nothing I can really do. Okay, next game is starting, so this video is going to end, and you will find the next video either next in the playlist, or, if it hasn't been released yet, will be releasing tomorrow. So, check out the video that appears on your screen here. YouTube thinks you're going to like it.